Hello everyone and welcome to my CSS3 2D Transforms tutorial and this is transforming an element and the first thing I would like to say is that all the browsers support this i.e. 9 Chrome, Safari, Opera and Firefox but they all require prefixes so i.e. 9 needs MS as a prefix Chrome, WebKit and Safari the same thing Opera O and, Moz, uh, and Firefox Moz MOZ and all this year would have to copy and paste that code uh, for each of the browsers and just change the prefixes in all of them for it to work in every single browser and to do this I'm just going to be using uh, Microsoft Expression Web or if you want you can use a simple text editor like Notepad and this is a free download for the Microsoft website it used to be a paid for application now it's free the link will be in the description box and here we just have a body tag and a div and it has a class of transform and here our style is given it some simple properties here and here we have a border radius which I covered in my previous tutorial so if you just click anywhere on the screen you can go and check that out now if you'd like to know a little bit more about this if not it's not too much of a worry in this video but if you want to you can check that out and here we have a margin of 150 pixels at the top and the rest are all auto so that it just gets a little bump from here and the distance from there to there are the same as there to there so now let's get started with the CSS for the first 2D transform I'm going to show you so to do this I'm going to be using Chrome so I, so I only have to use the WebKit prefix but as I said if you want this to work on all browsers you need to use all the prefixes so now I'm going to type in dash webkit, so that's my prefix done. And I'm going to type in transform for the 2D transform and then a colon. And the first one I'm going to show you is translate. And here you put in your X and Y values of how you want to translate the element. So I'm going to have it 100 pixels to the right and 150 down. So now if I click save and refresh you can see that it's gone 100 to the right 150 down so and another way of doing this is you can have translate x and then a number or translate y and a number uh, sorry translate y and then a number this is if you want to keep uh, y the same and change x or keep X the same and change Y. So now I'm just going to select this and comment that out so that we can continue typing more code and I can show you the differences between each one. And now I'm going to type in WebKit transform. And the next one I'm going to show you is the scale. And here we have again scale and X and Y. So I'm going to scale it first by 1 and 2. So 1 for the X and 2 for the Y. So here we have our X, which is the width. It's going to be scaled by, sorry, not 1. That's going to keep it the same. 1.5. So this will become 150. And 2, it will make the height by 2. So that will become 100. So if we now save this and refresh, you can see that it's become bigger. And notice how the text has gone out of proportion this is because the text is also scaled not only the div the text is as well so now let's go back and again comment this out and i'm going to put in the next one so webkit dash transform and again sorry for the scale again you can have scale x and a number and scale Y and a number if you want to keep Y the same and change X or if you want to keep X the same and change Y this one has only one way of typing it and that's rotate and the number of degrees and in this one I'm going to have it just rotated by 180 degrees huh? and now if I press save and go to Chrome you can see that it's just kept it in the same place as it was before, but just turned it upside down. Or it's either by 180. Go back and comment that out. 
and hit save and then go back and refresh and here I am going to go to webkit dash transform to show you the final one which is skew and this is by x or y so the first one I'm going to have x let's have it skewed by 20 degrees and y by 30 degrees so now if I hit save and go and refresh you can see that it skewed the x by 20 and the y by 30 and let's just go back and as before you can do skew x n to change the x value and keep the y value the same or skew y n and change the y value but keep x the same and as always you can check out the w3 schools website for more help on 2d transforms thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe and if you would like to put a comment in the comment section below to for me to do a tutorial to do a tutorial on so thank you for watching goodbye